Hollywood and entertainment companies in general still need to learn the hard lesson that woke does not pay. They must go out of business. And the latest example of this is Batman Caped Crusader, which is a Warner Brothers production, which will be airing on Amazon Prime Video. And they have recently announced a gender swapped version of the Penguin played by Minnie Driver. And Minnie Driver is trying to explain why they decided to gender swap the character. And her explanation is, in my opinion, straight up lies. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. Also, hit that like button. Let's send this video past the YouTube algorithm so more people can watch it. Roll this up over at thatparkplace.com. And during San Diego Comic-Con, Prime Video revealed the female penguin, Oswalda Cobblepot. They posted this on X saying, Introducing Oswalda Cobblepot, but you can call her the penguin. Batman Cape Crusader arrives August 1. I see no penguin in this picture at all. That is not the Penguin. Do not recognize that character. But following the announcement, uh, people absolutely mocked this. In fact, Prime Video was actually hiding a number of replies, uh, specifically ones that were lampooning this announcement, uh, referencing South Park's uh, lampooning of Kathleen Kennedy, Lucasfilm, Star Wars, and even Marvel, by noting all they do is put a chick in it and make it lame and gay. A uh, good friend of the channel here, Jacob Ayer, he posted this. You can see here, these were uh, uh, hidden by Prime Video. Put a chick in it and make her gay and lame. Dang, they cast Minnie Driver. Instead of using her talent for someone like Catwoman, Silver, Nocturna, we get this lame gender swap. What a waste of talent. Batman has a plethora of female villains. This was unnecessary. Jason Craig says, stop effing doing this BS. There are plenty of good characters that women play in the Batman series, and there's no reason to do this gender swap crap. I can guarantee I will not watch this show. Fantasy Star 77 says, how stunning and brave. Let me guess, she's a lesbian too. That's what they just did with quote unquote Mrs. Freeze in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Cab 0218 said, no one wanted this. WTF, stop the DEI BS. Spartan, I'm not going to read all those numbers. He said, going the Disney route. Let's see how that works out for you. I'm sure this will help you recover from the $500 million crap show that is Rings of Power. So people were not happy about this. Absolutely lampooning it, criticizing it, just destroying it because it's garbage. It's absolute garbage. There is no reason to do this. As Jacob Berry says, there are plenty of female characters in the DC Comics universe. There are plenty of female characters in the Batman universe. They could have even created a new character like they did with Harley Quinn when they originally created the Batman the Animated Series. But no, they are so bankrupt, they have to do this stupid DEI gender swap stuff. They're trying to humiliate you, trying to demoralize you with this absolute garbage. Unfortunately, the joke is on them because people aren't being demoralized by this. I think people are actually being rallied. We are fighting back against this. We are saying no to this, and we are relishing in the fact when these shows absolutely bomb. We are having fun watching them destroy themselves, because that's what they're doing. They're destroying themselves. They're only hurting themselves. We are, we are over it. We are over them trying to inflict pain on us. It's not working anymore. We are rallying against this and laughing and having fun at their idiocy and, at the end of the day, evil. So a mini driver attempted to address the criticism that obviously was going to come for this because it's so pandering. It's so stupid. And she, she, she addressed this in uh, speaking with Variety at San Diego Comic-Con. And she says, here's the thing. If it hadn't been so beautifully imagined or reimagined, if it had somehow just been shoehorned into tick some box of, oh, we have to now have a fluidity around characters, that's not it. The essence of the penguin is the essence of the penguin. So clearly, it is a checkbox. She is making zero argument that it isn't. She's just saying it isn't, but then saying the essence of the penguin is the essence of the penguin. Well, no, you've changed the penguin, so you're lying. 
then she added, she's probably evil. She really does some terrible things. And I hope that she will be embraced as the villain that she always has been. She's never been a villain because she didn't exist. The Penguin is a male character. Stop with your gaslighting. Stop with your lying. <laughs> but uh, if you want to keep doing it, we're going to laugh at you. We're going to laugh at you and watch you fail. She then concluded, the essence of this show is quintessentially Batman. Make, mo make no mistake. And the fact that the Penguin is a really terrifying woman speaks volumes about the imagination of Bruce, Tim, and the whole team. So this is also something I've kind of been talking to John De La Rosa about uh, behind the scenes. And they're actually, they're, they're telling on themselves too. So obviously they're doing all the gender swap stuff now, but they're making them villains. They make these like hideous creatures uh, villains like they're turning the female into a scold and she's actually being a the penguin is now a, a woman and is a villain uh, they did this in doctor who where they made the uh the drag queen a menacing psychopath where they're trying to do all this representation and stuff but what's actually happening is they're portraying them as the villains that they are so they're again hurting themselves in their confusions they're so focused on trying to do the humiliation with the gender swap, with putting uh, drag queens and uh, transgender people into, that don't even exist, you can't be uh, so-called transgender people, into these shows that they're actually portraying them as the wicked, evil things that they are. So... But we, let's point out the lie here because it is an ab absolute lie. It is a box tick. She's definitely ticking the box here because we had Bruce Tim tell us all the way back at DC Fandom in 2021 that one of the main purposes of the show was to modernize it in terms of inclusivity, representation, things like that. That is what he said almost three years ago. So it is a box tick. That's exactly what it is. I mean, he, he made that very clear. And we have all these other box ticks, too, that the show is going to have. They changed Harley Quinn's ethnicity. Instead of being a blue-eyed, blonde, white woman, Quinn is now Asian. Not only is she Asian, but she won't be associated with the Joker. Voice actress Jamie Chung told Entertainment Weekly this, that many of the show's characters have been reimagined. She said she loved that the show reimagined these characters and flipped the switch a little bit. She then confirmed Harley Quinn is not associated with the Joker, telling the outlet she, quote, doesn't have an association with Joker and that Harley Quinn, quote, is her own person and then also uh tim also said this i co-created the character so i have a lot of love and affection for her but i thought there might be something interesting about bringing her on the show just not as joker's girlfriend so bruce tim confirming that as well he added so how do we do that a big part was just doing a basic flip the original dr quinzel was a little bit more serious and then when she became harley she got really goofy and weird so we thought what if we reverse that when she's dr quinzel she's a little bit more whimsical and fun and then when she's Harley Quinn, she's scary. Chunk confirmed this saying, what I loved about this character was we flipped this around. She's very welcoming. She's very bubbly as a psychiatrist. And then also, uh, so obviously that's Harley Quinn that they're changing. We know they're changing the Penguin. And they also race swap Jim Gordon here too, because you can see that in this photo right here. Commissioner Jim Gordon there uh, uh, is now black. So this is all about ticking boxes. It's all about pushing woke ideology it's all about that but what's really going to end up happening is people are going to tune out of this people are going to not watch this and at the end of the day no one's really going to remember it they're just going to remember batman the animated series and see how terrible this show is compared to it but uh those are my thoughts on this let me know what you guys make of this let me know in the comments below remember to always be charitable especially to each other but to always speak the truth